Now, in terms of how the resources will be used, we're going to concentrate on the rural areas that are impacted because we still have sufficient supplies in our catchment and in our treatment facilities and, and in, in our reservoirs, even though some of them are showing decline. Police in Portmore and Ketchin were kept busy between last night and this morning, probing at least three shooting scenes in the municipality. Two men were shot, one fatal in Watson Grove, Gregory Park at 9 p.m. Two others were shot and injured in Reed Spen about 9.20 p.m. And another man was gunned down on Port Anderson Road about 1.20 a.m. The police say they do not think the crimes are related. More details to come. actually is a victory for Jamaica, it's a victory for law enforcement and the entire criminal justice system and the JCF. It also validates our approach in looking at criminal investigation and do our investigation around a criminal organization. We know that there were a lot of naysayers, there are a lot of skeptics about the approach, but I think this has validated our approach. We got the law from 2014, and, um, you know, there were different views, conflicting views, and we decided ultimately to test this about 2017, somewhere about there. And we have had, you know, setbacks, speak up, but we continue to pursue, and this is the end result. There are a lot of work still to be done. There are areas that we need to look at. We have to review, assess. And then we look at our approach onward. But I think this, this really inspires some level of confidence in what we do. This is just a tip in the iceberg. There is several other, there, there's a lot of work to be done. As you are aware, or the public might be aware, once you try, you infiltrate a gang, once you disrupt a gang, you're going to find several splinters, and there are, there are splinters, and there are people who are reasserting themselves, and we have an obligation to, to ensure that we reduce the impact of those individuals, and we will continue to pursue the criminals, whoever they are. Whether you're a gang member or whether you're a criminal, we will continue to pursue. That's our calling. That's what we, we sign up for. Two of three men who attempted to pick a kiss from an open lot in Tarzan District in Caymanas Base in Ketrin were attacked, shot, and chopped. The men, who have since been admitted to hospital, were attacked after they disobeyed a request to not pick the fruits. It was reported that around 10.35 a.m. the three went to pick a kiss on the heavily vegetated open lot. While there, they were approached by a man who told them they could not take any of the fruits. Police said an argument developed between both parties during which the man went away and returned with five other men in a motor car and a pickup truck. The men who were armed with machetes and a shotgun attacked the Aki pickers. One of the men managed to flee and escape. Another received shotgun wounds to his back while the third was chopped in his left eye and left shoulder. They eventually managed to run from the bushes and were assisted by the police to the hospital where they were treated and admitted.